Hi there, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Um, today, today's example is the SU-122, which was a Russian assault gun uh, used during World War II based on the T-34 chassis, as you can see there. Um, it was a turretless casemate version, so obviously had no turret. Um, it had a 122mm howitzer, as you can see in the front there. Uh, similar, it was a similar configuration to the old uh, German Sturmgeschutz line. Um, it was produced uh, at the end of 1942 and until mid-1943 with a total of 638, I think, were made. Um, the old uh, SU-122 proved a little bit effective in its direct fire role, but uh, was soon to be found to be replaced by the ISU-122, also the SU-152 and the ISU-152 as well. So um, very few of these survived the, the actual war. Um, so yeah there's not too many of these kicking around anymore <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll as you can obviously tell it's no pretty box or anything so it's obviously in a um like from a magazine orientated one so we'll get this get this open get old blady out i think maybe and try and cut that open. so as you can tell we're opening this together open here, get this boring bit over and done with real quick, to reveal this bad boy, alright, here we go, yeah, that's not, oh, not too bad, uh, oh. yeah, you get a, get a bit of a closer look there and um, you can sort of see the, that's it's, it's, it's die cast here, but with the plastic accessories, um, they seem to be a slightly different colour. I'm not sure if it comes through the camera very well. Um, I mean, the detail on it is, is, is really nice. If we can sort of, you know, show the engine deck. Um, it's got some nice sort of dirty, rusty effect on the exhaust ports. Um, some spare tracks. It's got some nice Russian writing on there on the side. Some, um, the tracks are, you know, pliable. Does, does, I'm not sure if they move. It's hard to tell because, um, as you can see, it's got those screws on the base. They keep them in, in place. But, um, I mean, the, the, the build itself is quite good, but that, that colour difference is a little bit annoying. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's okay, I suppose, as a stopgap for you. For your collection if you don't have one of these but in reality i think now that i've got it open i think i'd rather you know see if you can oops sorry about that see if you can get an, an actual um better build quality where the actual paint scheme does marry up between the plastic components and the metal components um the howitzer does elevate up and down it's got quite quite a large elevation um apart from that there's no real there's some equipment storage on the side um, but uh, yeah, apart from that, it's pretty basic. But obviously, the the main body section of this is all die cast, which is good. It's got a reasonable weight to it. But um, accessories like the tanks here on the side, um, the actual gun itself, even I think the fenders might be plastic as well. So there's a slight color difference in there. But I mean, the main body is die cast. Um, it does have a die cast nice feel weight wise to it um yeah look i paid um i think it was 45 dollars including the postage from overseas and gst and everything like that that's 45 dollars australian um it's not too bad like as you know for a 143rd you know that's pretty decent size um, the only thing that does let it down is, yeah, that difference, that slight difference in the um, greens between the plastic components and the metal components. Um, if that was um, a little bit closer, it probably, you know, then you could turn around and say, yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, would I recommend it? If you don't have one, yeah, but um, I wouldn't go out of your way to grab one. Not, not if this coloration is a, uh, you know, if it's throughout this whole line or if it's just unique to mine, I don't know, but... Um, I do have a, a couple other of these models um, that I bought from an overseas seller. Um, 
so it'll be interesting to see if all the other, because of the similar style, so it'll be interesting to see if they're all uh, very similar between the metal and plastic components, if there is such a, a large coloration difference. So, yeah, but anyway, well, there you have it. It's 143rd scale SU-122 Russian assault gun from World War II. Um, I'd recommend it if you want a reasonably cheap option to fill a gap that you don't have. Uh, I don't know how many, you know, 143rd scale of these are around to bolster your collection, but I mean, if it comes down to it, you could always touch up or blend in the plastic components to match the die cast finish. Um, these days it's pretty, I suppose, reasonably easy to get a paint, good paint match and get them coloured up. I'm not sure how easy these are to take apart if you decide to do that. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, as per usual, you know, I'll uh, chuck up some uh, close-up stills without my uh, sausage fingers in the way. Um, and uh, yeah, so if this video is helpful in any way, give us a little like and um, stay tuned to after this video to check out the close-up photos. And uh, once again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch and enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.